All right, have and have not fans, hope everyone is doing well. It is Tuesday night. Folks, just to do a quick introduction, you know, because I know people will be like, you talk too much. And like, first of all, to all newcomers to the channel, first of all, welcome to the haves and the have nots review. But there are a couple things I need to just point out there. And if you have been on this channel for a while, and if you know how it works, feel free to, you know, ignore this message. But this channel is called the haves and the have nots review. I am not affiliated with own or Tyler Perry studios. I am a fan like everyone else. This channel is about reviewing the show. It is not about posting full episodes. At the very least, I might do clips within the fair use policy. That way I don't get stricken by copyright. And if you hear background noise, there's some fire trucks and police cars going through the parking lot right now. But in any case, I just noticed a huge amount of notifications about comments of people saying, you talk too much, just show the episode. No. Secondly, and if you have any, you know, criticism or whatnot that's completely fine but just don't sound ignorant because i just see and i literally laugh at these comments the people who say you talk too much it's like review is in that's like going to a political debate and then yelling out loud boo stop talking when are you going to bring out the band so we can hear the concert you, you see how ignorant that sounds so to everyone out there who feels like trolling by all means do i mean your views and comments help the channel out more than you know so thank you for that but in any case another piece of good news is the fact that own has released the copyright uh charge on one of my videos um the one i did on january the 9th there was the trailer breakdown for all the episodes coming between january and march so everything is good to go with that one the only other video that's still being reviewed now is the one about hannah confronting charles at the hospital honestly i wouldn't care about that one but it does have over twenty thousand hits so that's good and finally computer issues going on right now um it looks like there's some a lot of dust on the inside of my fan and uh i did get a temporary fix by using canned air so hopefully that will allow my computer to not randomly shut off to cool down in the middle of recording so i will try my best to get the episode review and trailer breakdown up within the next 24 hours because i do believe i need to take my computer to a shop right across the street and they might have to take it for a couple of days so just to give you a fair, fair warning but all that's to say I will be pay playing a clip, but to ensure copyright is not going to be, you know, put on the video, the clip will be broken down into a couple of pieces, and here we go. My son. What about him? My mother played a video of him, and my brother showed me pictures. What did I do? What, what did I do? It's really okay. Who is that? Okay, so that's the first part of the clip, and to be completely honest, let me put it this way. I am interested in seeing this scene, but here's what I don't want. I don't want to have this emotional Candace moment where she's once again breaking down after being hit with the realization that her son is gone, and she played a part in that happening, and wanting to lash out against everyone and everything except for reflecting on the truth. So this scene itself could be pretty damn good. But what I don't want is to have like within the next two to three episodes, her and Hannah meeting up again, standing off. And then once again, well, you let my son die. And the scene where she's kind of crying and freaking out with Landon there to comfort her isn't that convincing. This isn't me critiquing the actual character or the acting in the scene because I, this is only a 40 second clip. Obviously, I would need to see the entire episode and scene to make a full judge. But at the moment, I'm not really feeling that bad for Candace because we've seen this a thousand times before. But uh, basically, we know this is going to be later on in the episode after, you know, Benny gets up in Candace's face with the phone showing a picture of Quincy Jr. And then we know last Tuesday, uh, Hannah was showing a picture and playing a video of Quincy Jr. and she tried to ignore it. So there's a knock on the door and let's get to the second part of the clip. Dad. It's okay. When, Candace, just relax, okay? Come on in. Sir. <sighs> Candace, listen. I know everything in you right now is saying to do what you always do, but please just don't fight. Don't run. Don't you two should talk. Okay, and basically Charles comes in, and the thing about it is, real you do you don't really need to pay attention to uh, Candace or Charles in this scene because you know it's pretty much you know Candace once again. It's like what what is he doing here? What the hell is going on? But the thing you really need to notice 
Look at Landon's body language. Like, you know, when he tries to lead Charles in the door and even when he tried, just notice how he's hesitant to put his hands on Charles. Like, at first it was kind of funny. It's like, yeah, he knows not to touch Charles. But really, I like what Landon is, Landon is doing here. He is stepping out of his own, you know, desires because we all know he's attracted to Charles and now Charles knows it. But at the same time, he's doing something that Jeffrey never did in season one. You know, where Landon is trying to put charles and candace back together because candace for whatever reason makes charles better and charles can somehow fix well not fix but help candace rebuild if only she will allow him or anybody to come into her life to do so so land you can tell he's hesitant to even put his hand on charles's shoulder or back just to kind of gently lead him into the room closer to candace and another thing he says is candace don't do what you usually do. Don't shove people aside. Don't go back to your, you know, the pimping, the stealing. Just talk. So this could be a great scene. Once again, not too sold on the whole Candace crying thing. Because once again, we've seen this too many times already. And then she resorts back to her ways. But if this sticks, if her and Charles talk and it sticks, that's what I'm talking about. That could be a great scene. So with that being said, people, I, I got about two more videos I need to get done. You know, please keep me in your prayers that this computer does not mess up. I'm just trying to get this stuff done as soon as I can. Uh, I did see a very good clip about the whole Catherine telling Jim about the cancer, but thank goodness a series and several other people told me about it yesterday. We didn't see the clip until today, but I've already done a video and there's no need to doing a video on that clip. Until after tonight's episode, I'll probably do a video on that later this week. So stay tuned to the channel. And uh, yes, I do have the gift cards. I already told you. So I will be trying to pick winners for the contest uh, later tonight. Thanks so much for making it to the end of this video. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like what you just saw. And if you have anything you would like to add to the video itself, go down to the comment section below and type out your thoughts. And I also have social media related to the haves and have nots. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook page, Facebook group. Links to everything will be in the description below. And if you like action figures, video games, and trading cards, I have an eBay store as well where there's free shipping on everything. But I also have a second YouTube channel that I'm working on where I talk about things that are non tyler Perry related such as anime, superhero shows and movies, music, pop culture, and sometimes political news depending on what the circumstances are. Be sure to check out that channel as well. In the top left hand corner you should see a picture of Candace Young. You can click on her to subscribe to the Haves and the Have Nots review. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. And if you like the video you just saw, be sure to check out the other two videos that should be popping up on the right hand side. Trust me, if you like this video, you'll love them too. Once again, thanks so much for visiting my YouTube channel and I'll talk to you in the next video.